coffee, 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 and cars. To let you guys know, no matter what happens right now before everything else happens, we are building today. And you'll probably see that because the vlog title is probably something like build day, what is it, six? I just have to get this stuff done first. A couple of things here, a couple of things over here. You know, life. From engines to haunt. Here we go. And guess what? Parents here. Hello. What's Yay. Up? So we're going to go and we're going to bust some panels out, maybe, hopefully. After coffee. Oh, and after picking up poop. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll save you from having to do it. Thank you. You're so welcome. I'm not going to have a volunteer pick up poop. How kind. Officially, guys, welcome to build day six. I think I've said that. Anyway, um, I wanted to give you a little tip, and I've given this tip before. A lot of you may not know it yet, though, or may have missed it, because I did it like last year. Especially if you don't have an awesome helper. Um, let's say you want to attach this to here, and then you go on the other side, and you drill through here, and you miss, and you drill through here, and you miss. Make it simple. Drill a hole, or you, you can even put a screw through it from this side. So drill through this side so that you can see on the other side where your hole's at. And then you won't miss, and you'll get it perfectly centered every time. <sighs> Out of breath, I don't know why. Because <sighs> there's so much work to do. This guy's smiling, he's teasing. Teasing. I almost feel like Miyagi Haunter. Ah, oh, Miyagi Sensei. Sensei, I said Sensei. That was funny, I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, Miyagi Say. Stabilization, balance and haunt, balance in life. I got stabilization up there, which stabilizes this one. Nice and stable. Platform is now stable, running a beam all the way up to that one. Over here, if you guys ever do panels, and let's say your ground is uneven, so that you have to get this one here straight onto this one, but in doing so, it lifts this one, the corner here, so it was like all floppy. Stake it and put a couple screws in it, and then that'll be done. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much done. So I think we're gonna start working on the roof. Oh my god, it's freaking hot. So we're going to start working on the roof because I have help and the roof is a pain in my ass to do it. Done. Happy. So the people are going to, like I said the other day, people are going to climb up over there and get on the platform here. Right here we'll probably do like camo netting or something right above here. Uh, along with a couple plants hanging down or whatever. We can put some uh, cross beams up here to hang uh, plants. And then down here we will also have plants down here too. So actually I think people are going to be thinking that something's going to jump out from here. When in fact it's going to jump out from up here. Epic. So you guys know me. I can talk in circles and sometimes I'm confusing to you guys even though I know what I'm talking about. I want to try and explain this the best... Ooh, I forgot about that. Uh, I want to try and explain this the best way that I can. So originally, since the basement and the solarium, I'm calling them a standalone building. In other words, it's going to be roofed separately from everything else. So I was thinking, okay, fine. Where do I put the peak? If I put the peak in the center right here, so the plastic runs down this way, and runs down this way, I'll be able to put like fire and smoke up above here. So when the people are come here, they'll be able to see fire and smoke. Can't really see it from the road, so I'm not worried about that. Um, this right here, I'm going to make an egress right here. However, if I do the peak in the center, it's going to drop all the water over here, and it's going to drop all the water out there. If I do it the other way and put the peak in the center there, it'll drop the water here and on the back end, but I won't be able to do the fire effect because the roof will be closed. So I thought, why don't I just do this? Why don't I just raise four feet here, single peak, and straight down this way. All the rainwater will go that way. I can still do my peak stuff with the fire and the smoke. That's what we're going to do. That's the plan. You guys remember when I did the roof last year, how scary it was being so high up in the freaking air. So that's uh, 12 feet in the air right there. And I've only got a seven foot ladder. So I'm sure that you can do the math. And I'm short and he's short. So this should be really fun, and hopefully we won't fall. But if we do, let's hope we get it on tape. That would be really fun. Yeah, exactly, and that, that's why I do this. Okay, where do you guys want to sit? You want to sit on top of the prop car? I'll let you do that. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs>
try this at home. That was fun and scary. And now is plastic, so we're going to introduce Perrin to the world of freaking awesome plasticness. I'm not looking forward to doing plastic. Maybe Keith was right. Plastic bad. No time like the present, or maybe 10 minutes from now. <laughs> Procrastination. Here's our progress on the roof. And I'm sorry guys, I had to let the camera cool down after that long segment of uh, doing that high speed with uh, just the bracing. The camera is mega hot because obviously it's being used a lot and was sitting directly in the sun. They've got dogs. I'm gonna teach you guys how to roll plastic. All right guys, uh -huh. so pay attention. When you do this, the other side's already got like staples in it. It's already nice and like anchored. What you do with, what you do with, what you do is, is you take your fingers like this and you pull on the plastic this way. You kind of like take the second layer of plastic and you pull it up and over it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you make like a little lip right there. You pull it up and over <laughs> and you can see how taut that gets. And then you just staple the crap out of it. Then you move along, you move down, pulling as you go. And that gets you a nice, taut roof. You could use that as a drum. And then when it cools down tonight, it is gonna be like slick. It's gonna be really cool. It may require one more tightening because the plastic just came out of the wrap. Anyway, speaking of wraps, that's a wrap. So this is what it's starting to look like on the inside, guys. Starting to look a little bit darker. I'm getting sunburned. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was great. Dude, that was awesome. I love it. I love to be scared. I, I love getting scared. We have stapled the crap out of that. There is one more step. A lot of you guys have winds and stuff, and you're thinking, God, those staples are going to pull right out if it gets windy. And you're absolutely correct. They will. What are you doing? Nothing. Vlog bomber. So we're going to take um, these two by twos, uh, five holes in them. Make sure that you pre drill. If you don't pre drill, then you will crack it. Cracking it is bad. You don't want to do that. President Clinton cracked a lot of stuff too. I'll tell you what. Cracked Monica once or twice. <laughs> Damn, that's awesome. This is going to sandwich that stuff up there. So I'll show you that in, in a second. This is some bad videography. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh, haunt stain right there. See, blood. Who was wondering about Mika? There she is. Mika, fluff ball. Hunt mascot too. It's like, oh, I want attention. Give me attention. Oh yeah, right there. Oh yeah, right there. Right. Oh, no, no, right there. Now you had the spot. No, no, get, get away from me. No, right there. Get away from me. Right there. We're switching gears and we're doing some automotive stuff real quick. I, I am going to get back to the haunt. I just wanted to show you guys that baby's in daddy's truck and he likes it. He gets to see everything outside. Outside. That's right. <laughs> It's dark, but we're getting back to it, guys. And I just want to show you, I got to show this to you real quick. This is so incredibly awesome. You guys see that? Look how awesome that is. Look how tight that is. Don't get mad, guys. I busted out a few panels. Yay, look at that. It's the facade, yay. <laughs> we're getting to the point now to where we can kind of do a little bit of a walkthrough now. And I know I just did this backwards, but Okay, so here we are. Here's the beginning. 180. Bam! All right, so here's the basement. And this is what I was talking about. Right up there, like up there, is where I want to do the fire lights. So fire and fog and hopefully MP3 sound. Uh, this right here will all, all be blocked off. This right here is egress. It will also be blocked off. So we come down here, go down to the basement. <sighs> Makes you feel like you're going down. And we're gonna have the bird cage not here. We're gonna have it over here um, in the corner. And so here's the basement. And you come out of the basement. And then you come over here. And you got the platform in the solarium. And you come over here. And then over here, you're gonna have the sparking chain fence back here. Now, pay attention to that door right there. Uh, if we look over here, there's a place for somebody to hide here. And the person can get up. Everything is stabilized now. I think I already went over that. You come outside. Okay, we're coming outside now. This is going to be uncovered. Um, 
This right here will be covered with plants. This is the door that they're going to go through. So the facade will continue. And then over here will be barrels and stuff like that, just an outside area. So if we have somebody out here, if I have another actor, because I've already burned through like five actors. So we've got the greeter, one person in the basement, two people here in the solarium, and uh, oh, a greeter here, possibly, possibly a greeter here. I don't know. Uh, it's a good flow control part, point, whatever. So anyway, uh, we come back over here. And here is that door right here. So this is going to be a false door into egress right here. And then that door that I told you to keep a, or to remember about is right here. So this will all be egress right through here. So, all right, so there you guys go. So let's do some quick cock and get out of here. Hey guys, it's time for cock. Oh my goodness, my face is sunburnt and I'm very tired. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try and answer questions really quick. That's what I'm gonna concentrate on now. So I appreciate everybody's comments about how to sustain or uh, stabilize the platform and also about mold too. And um, also about like my eyesight. Vladimir Putin, did you have to take the mold out of the car? No, I didn't. I was just working in it. It was just really nasty. And a bunch of you commented on the lack of Halloween merch this year at different stores is kind of like down from what it has been before, like Lowe's, and that's very true. Andrea Rose Grills, does JD live with y'all or does she just come to visit? Um, no, she's here all the time. It's just she doesn't like to be videoed all the time, so I try to respect that. Jason Daniel, do you know what kind of stores sell flashlights with strobing feature? No, I don't. I do know that the expensive lights that you get from, like, Matco and Snap-on, <laughs> the ones that we use at work that are, like, $180, um, they have strobing features, and for $180, they better. Underworld Haunted House, I'm kind of new, as you know, but who is that girl that pops up every now and then? Uh, that is Lori Lee's daughter, J.D. Brands in Haunted Hills, uh, it's so exciting to hear Phoenix say different words. Um, I totally agree, it's very exciting. And I did get your intros also for uh, COC. Um, I just haven't uh, had the time to put them on the computer yet, so thank you for that. Derek Marks, I can't wait to stop by and see your haunted house, I'm also in the area. Um, then you should like totally contact me if you wanna like help out. That'd be appreciated. <laughs> Um, Adam Owens was wondering where I got the LEDs that I use in my uh, dashboard and also for the, all the lighting on my truck. And this is kind of haunt related because they've got component LEDs, specialty LED lighting, um, insulation, power supplies, miscellaneous, uh, industrial flashlights. Maybe they'll have a flashlight in there that flashes. Um, blah, 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 blah. Superbrightleds.com. And no, I did not get paid for that. Damn. I really like Curtis was here, uh, his comment, a way to get the freezer room cold would be a homemade air conditioner. You fill up a drink cooler with ice and run a fan to it. I didn't explain it very well, but you can search a tutorial and uh, it's kind of simple and cheap. You know, that's a pretty good idea. I think that I know what you're talking about. Um, so anyway, guys, happy haunting. Oh my gosh, see you guys. I'll actually see you guys later today. <laughs> you want more? Come back for seconds tomorrow! <laughs>